Hello, my queens. I'm so excited to be joined by Anna Klumski, who's been playing Amy Bruckheimer on Veep for seven seasons. Yeah. And here we are at the yes. end of this road. I love that you just um, greeted your audience as your queen. You know, it, I, one, it so always happy. makes people smile. Yes. <laughs> That's just the happiest, I love it. yes, happiest greeting. I love it. It also weeds out fuckboys. Oh. Like anyone who's, any dude who's like vaguely homophobic, if they like, oh. once it queens, I'm like, oh, someone has some gender issues yeah. they gotta work out. Yeah, right? <laughs> you need to be okay with queens. I love it. You got to. Everyone got to. does. Well, let's talk about our queen, Amy. Aww. Um, what are you going to miss most about playing her? <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, I think... I feel like maybe the the rapid reactions she has. Okay. <laughs> she does. She's you know, good at that. like it's a, it's a very nice thing for an actor to have to, you know, or to to be able to kind of indulge the impulse, mm -hmm. even though with Amy I have to kind of squash it immediately. Okay. Yeah. But just to, she says to it yeah, to just have to be like, mm -hmm. you know, just just paying attention to absolutely everything. And mm -hmm. I mean, I, that that is an actor thing. So of course I'm going to do that continually from um, any role I have. But but with her. I don't know. She gets to just kind of like react with fire. Yeah, and, and she's so, so yeah, smart. with fire. I'll start saying that. Like, I like yeah. that. Yeah, it's and she's so say, smart. She's surrounded by. She's very you know, smart. Idiots. Yeah, <laughs> I don't. Yeah, I. I don't know. I, I I believe that everyone is smart in their own way. So I don't this feel a like very I'm generous honest. thing to say. But it has to be true. Anyway, I don't know. This is a thing I'm working on. I'm gonna pray on it. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's gotta be there about that. Someone's gotta be praying. <laughs> but I also wanted to ask, of course, Julia Louis Dreyfus is incredible in her own right. What have you learned from working with her? Um, I the most I mean she's she is in 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 industrious person mm. to the nth degree. Mm -hmm. She is the first person um, at work and the last to leave. So that's kind of established and that's kind of, I, I don't even know if I've learned how to be that hardworking mm. as much as I've just been in awe of how wow. hardworking she is. But um, but I think the thing that I I bring with me in, in our working together for so mm. long is just how, how much she is motivated by play. Mm. Play is what we do. This is what, I mean, we are blessed to be able to make a living by playing. You know, mm -hmm. you, you do a play, you do a screenplay, a teleplay. And that, if you keep that as your, as your goal and your, your prime um, motivator as she does, mm -hmm. then it just continues to feed mm -hmm. your own career. And it also continues um, to to feed those watching. I so love that. yeah, it's it's been heaven. And I love that's that. What she does. That's so cool. And it's interesting because it, during she the works break, hard, plays hard. She works hard. <laughs> but during um, during the break, we were talking about Serena Williams, who was on the show earlier yeah. this week. And I asked her, "How do you keep going harder and harder?" And she said, "I'm having fun. See, I have fun, and I keep going." That's you know, the abundance. Together. I guess that's so, what abundance yeah, is. I yeah, love that. That's maybe beautiful. abundance. What? Um, well, you know, we've had Reed Scott on the show, Timothy Simons. Um, sorry. <laughs> <I know. laughs> <laughs> you are quick. You do react. No. <laughs> That's the one time. That's the one time it. ever. That was good. And I'm actually terribly uncomfortable with that amount of sarcasm. I love I it. I kind of want to hide life. now. I stand. Um, but we talked with them about, you know, of course, doing the show when it started in its first season. Um, it was, you know, in contrast to the Obama White House. And it was just sure. things were so different. Sure. And then 2016 happens and you're like, huh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. What I wanted to ask you, though, was like, post-2016, it's not just, you know, Trump is everything's crazy, but we also have Me Too, we're having conversations about women in leadership, and I wonder, sure. what's that been like for you? Um, well, I mean, well, that's been fantastic, yeah. and 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 also sort of terrifying, just okay. because, you know, because, like, sometimes when things are so... Um, um, like just, it's, it's sort of like when you light a match to something and it kind of yeah. like takes, mm -hmm. you sort of are like, okay, where's this going and right. what do we do? And so I think, but it's been, but it's been such a gift, right. um, to empower people, um, to speak I I anybody's truth. And, and I, and I, I'm so grateful for every brave person who has, has, um, included herself in the Me Too movement. Um, that said, our show, you know, it's funny. I, I, you know, sexual harassment has always been a thing. If you go back, I mean, you can go back to the oldest films ever made right. and they are, you know, there's like women on the train going, right. my boss did, you know, uh -huh. just took my tush and blah, blah. You know, like there's... Mm -hmm. It's um, just like standard um, banter dialogue. Yeah, it's yeah. it's everywhere. And so for us, you know, there's, we had an episode, um, season two, episode five called Helsinki, where like, a, you know, the prime minister's husband yes. felt yes. up Selena. Uh -huh. And it, the, this was a whole thing mm -hmm. of like, 
the vice president of the United right. States, and she doesn't even, she still has right. to, like, Deal with you know, bullshit. suck it up and, yeah. like, you know, and, yeah, so it's, um, it's always been a part of a conversation because it's a, it's a human, it's a human issue, it's a human right. problem, yeah. and, um, and I feel like while we've never really wanted to, um, to have any sort of agenda, we, right. we are, we do consider it our jobs to examine all of the ills right. of human interaction. Right. Absolutely. <laughs> and so, totally. so and it's that a part of it. Way in. Yeah, yeah, it's a part of the dysfunction. I mean, so something else I've been thinking about is, you know, you guys are parodying um, the dysfunction of, of DC. The, the, sure, the, the, I wouldn't say parody. Oh, okay. I'm very, I'm very careful to explain Please, that we're yeah. satirizing and okay. not parodying because right there's on. lots of great shows out there who mm. do parody okay. um, very well. And, and yeah, we're not taking any one um, character mm -hmm. uh, and just mocking them. Okay. Just, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like, yeah. I, don't, I, don't I mean know. To interrupt you. Words mean things and I love <laughs> that you believe in them. No, that's really cool because it gets to the point of everything going on right now. You know, I think People are trying to understand Trump and the chaos and everything. Yeah. Um, and so I, I just wondered if, you know, performing chaos yeah. on the show, if you feel yeah. like you have any insight or do you feel like an understanding of real life chaos? Does that make sense? Uh, it's a great question. I, um, <laughs> I think, <laughs> I think I, I think chaos is something that, yeah, I, I think we, those of us who like order, you mm -hmm. know what I mean, are, um, are always trying to embrace a little yeah. more, but, um, but not in our political system, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's, um, it, it is, it does have this weird, like, you know, um, expand and contract mm -hmm. type feeling of like, totally. oh, we can all kind of experiment with a government mm -hmm. and see and, and make the best one we can. And then, you know, some, a certain portion of the country will just like blow that blow up and up. like, you know, and, and you'll just be like, well, now what? And, mm -hmm. but what it does do is it does show, like, as you were saying, it does put into sharp relief what, what a lot of the failings are and mm. what a lot of the problems are. It's like, yeah. I don't think anybody was really putting the, the, um, the mistake of the electoral college up top is like right. a priority until mm -hmm. this happened. Now we're like, mm. now we're like, that doesn't work that right. great. And, yeah. you know, um, so, and, and of course that also happens with progress. Once upon a time, the electoral college did work right. and now it just doesn't so much. Absolutely. Um, and so, you know, it, it, so yeah, our show, I think, um, allows allows us and the writers to to have a platform to examine those mm -hmm, things mm -hmm. um, and yeah like ugh, with 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 where it's gone mm -hmm. in this entire society of ours where it's just gotten so much um, broader and brighter and um, and almost difficult to look yeah. at we yeah. um, we've had to follow suit mm -hmm. and also and also just heighten. Um, all of the satire. Yeah, you know? absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, to that point, I mean, in this season, uh, Selena is running for president. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> God, love her. Just, Come on. She just, she's not going to give it up. Jeez. <laughs> she's not going to give it up. Would you vote for Selena Kyle in 2020 if, like, she was one of the 20,000 people running for president right now? Um, at this point, I mean, yeah, I think she's yeah, not right. bad. Well, especially if you go. So I've been like revisiting some of the episodes okay. and you know trying to go in order. And I just finished the episode where um, where she uh, and um, and the majority leader of the opposition party actually negotiate mm. out of the mm -hmm. shutdown. Mm -hmm. And so it's that thing where it's like, you know, Selena Meyer actually she does know how to freaking yeah. politic, yeah. and she's yeah. Personally, we don't, yeah, she's, mm -hmm. she's rough as can be and yeah. you don't want to know her. You don't want to, but man, like compared to some of the, yeah, compared to what we got, That's I would a good prefer voice. somebody who can yeah. govern yeah. and she, she definitely can. Yeah, she literally, because she literally can't. Yeah, and, she, and you know, the hostages <laughs> and like, you know, like oh, there, she, uh, I mean, she freed Tibet supposedly. <laughs> There's a lot. <laughs> I love it. That's a good Despite only her best efforts to fail. <laughs> <laughs> well said. Well said. Uh, well, something we've been playing with all of your cast members as they've been coming through um, is a little game um, that um, we call it. Oh, is there music for this? Ooh. Who the V? <gasps> Who the Veep? I like um, that. It's just one chord. Just a whole thing, it's and it's, I, I mess it up every time. As Who the Veep? Um, but so I am going to give you 10 seconds. We're going to have 10 <gasps> seconds on the clock um, for you to name as many vice presidents as you can. <gasps> Oh, and geez. I've got to tell you, no pressure, but I put my money on you that you would do no, this. No, no, no. Okay, so. we'll try. Ready? Okay, I just got to call down. 
Oh, wait, uh, just go. Ah, okay, so um, Joe Biden, Dan Quayle, uh, Dick Cheney, um, um, John, uh, Gerald Ford, um, Truman. Yeah, oh, you, I, I, correct me if I'm wrong, but you, five, you definitely won. Oh, really? Yes, absolutely. Oh, we I got feel like, like I two. didn't get any. I feel like there's so many... Okay, Reed got uh, three and Tim got four. There yeah, are literally so many more to get. <laughs> I, I was like, Reed oh, no, me, I'm leaving Reed out so many. Reed me up because he didn't even do Pence or Biden, which I thought was really funny. He was like John Quincy Adams? Yeah, good. So he started from yeah, the beginning. Yeah, he went back. Which was, yeah, I was going, do I start from the beginning or do I go, do I go retroactively? And so I, I went retroactively. Yeah, Incredible. but I didn't say Pence because I just don't think about him much. Drag, we live, we stand a queen, and her name is Anna. <laughs> Anna, thank you so thank much. This has been so fun. Friends, you can watch the final season of Veep Sunday nights on HBO. We're getting our whole lives from her and this color. We love thank it. Thank you.